good youtube man we back with another the marvels reaction video and today's video as y'all can see man we got the marvels post credit scene bro hey the craziest thing about marvel movies man is always the post credit scenes of what's happening next y'all so so far uh, we got a couple of screenshots man spoiler warnings if y'all have not seen the marvels yet click off this video but if you okay with getting spoiled then stay here like the video hit that subscribe button man we almost at 1.1k we literally like two more or three more subscribers away so if you're watching this i appreciate it. if you could join the family hit that subscribe button if you love marvel man but in today's video like i said i got a couple screenshots today of um the post credit scene of the marvels man honestly um it's insane it's way different what i thought it was gonna be it's probably like so many people doubted this movie a lot of y'all have doubted, doubted this movie i got a lot of comments on tiktok on youtube a lot of people doubting this movie uh out of every movie that has released this movie has the biggest the biggest if not if not the biggest the biggest role of what's happening next aka the x men bro this movie has the biggest role um the biggest that's and the reason i'm gonna tell you why i say if not the biggest the reason why i say if not the biggest because obviously as y'all know in multiverse of madness uh we've seen the other we seen xavier and we've seen fantastic four well um you know mr fantastic and we've seen you know other people from other you know realities and multiverses but that was the only time we seen another x-men person and um and um wandavision we seen Quicksilver, even though I don't really know if it was like the real quick. I mean, it obviously was the real quick from Quicksilver from X Men, but I don't think it was tied in with X Men. This is the first movie. A lot of y'all doubted this movie. This is the first movie that actually tie in, bro. It actually tie in to the X Men. The reason why, as y'all can see, uh, if y'all don't know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know from what I've been hearing so far. Comment down below and let me know with some more stuff because I will be. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm just putting out content because I already know I'm gonna watch it. So. When I be getting spoiled, I don't really be like, like tripping because I know I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna be excited as seeing it just as I was before I seen it. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, as y'all can see, bro, based on this screenshot, man, the beast. So basically, um, from what I've been hearing, um, Monica Rambeau, uh, they say she woke up in a hospital bed. And apparently she woke up in the X-Men universe. And um the girl that we were seeing teased, well, the lady that we have been seeing teased in the other trailers, and I thought it was gonna be Storm. A lot of people said binary, but I no I, I, I had a thought that it was binary, but it threw me off that it would be obviously um Monica Rambeau's mom. Like that's what kind of threw me off because I know binary as the the original Captain Marvel and not you know another variant you know what i'm saying but that's dope too though man that's dope uh seeing this happen how it happened bro super dope um it, it was super dope can't wait to see this movie it can't wait really i'm excited to see this movie but i'm really excited to see where this movie takes the mcu now that we have seen obviously we see beast um looks look he looks dope bro like beast look dope next to monica rambo this might lead us off to um deadpool we might not see the x-men again to deadpool hope we do though but i don't know how but i hope we end up do seeing you know more of a monica rambo aka captain marvel I, I would love to see a movie just based off her being stuck in you know another reality and you know another multiverse i think that'll be dope and trying to figure out how to get back home and something ties into where we all just connected man but and um another another uh screenshot that everybody been um that that's been going around basically as y'all can see we got uh miss marvel uh, at the end of the post credit scene miss marvel meets up with um kate bishop and they form the um the young avengers so the young avengers are coming the younger Avengers are coming. We should see all the younger Avengers together. Um, by hopefully 
before Secret Wars and Secret Evasion. Like, hopefully we actually see a movie with the whole team together. Like, I feel like that'd be dope if they keep mixing the OG characters. Like, obviously, Thor, keep giving us Thor movies. Keep giving us another Spider-Man movie. And then also be setting up the Young Avengers. Like, give us a project with all the Avengers basically being set up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically being set up all together. Um... Comment down below. Let me know who would y'all like to see in the Young Avengers. If I could just give like a thought on top of my head, y'all, I'm a, I'm not gonna base it off the comic books. I'm gonna just, I mean, I mean, everybody that was in the comic books on the Younger Young Avengers, I think, has already been featured in the MCU. Like, um, Wanda Children, that that'll, that'll be a good, you know, two to start with. You know, now that we got Monica Rambeau and another, you know, universe. Let me see y'all how this can tie in. Now that now that Monica Rambeau is in the X Men universe, um, that being said, nine times out of ten, why the children are, you know, um, are in that universe. Nine times out of ten, right? Nine times out of ten, um, seeing them, I will. Ooh, Scar. Let's not forget about Scar, y'all. Scar is also in the MCU. We've seen Scar in um She Hulk and the She Hulk series. Uh, give me Scar. Um, of course we're gonna have a uh, Ant Man daughter, right? Ant Man daughter. Um, let me think of a good little team. Uh, I guess it would be kind of crazy to have two Hawks, but I guess not. You know, the more the merrier because obviously Kang is. I ain't gonna say Kang is coming, but Kang is the next big villain. Or if they switch it up and make it Doc, not Doctor Doom, is still a big thing. But um. You know, um, Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel, uh, Kate Bishop, give me a uh, scar, Wanda Children. Um, hopefully, we get like another Captain America character, but we're not getting the other Captain America we've seen because obviously he's a Thunderboss. That's why I'm kind of stuck in between the two. Uh, we could get the Captain America from the comic books of you know, the Captain America that was in the Falcon and Winter Soldier, the uh, the old, the old guy, his um, grandson. Uh, figures out a way to get, you know, uh, some superhero, um, strength. Um, it's kind of hard for me to think of a team, but that's going to be the end of the video. Before I end this video, though, I need y'all to comment down below and let me know. Who would y'all like to see on a Young Avengers team? Comment down below and let me know y'all squad, man.